you know, when I was growing up and I was a kid, you know, um, some of my older cousins and, you know, my older siblings, they were listening to Little Kim. And so, <laughs> you know, I would sneak and listen to Little Kim and did that want to make me do what I, you know, Little Kim, you know, her lyrics probably were worse than Cardi B's, <laughs> you know, but did that like want to make me behave in a manner that whatever she was discussing on this music. So did you guys watch the Grammys the other night? Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion performed their song WAP together on stage and everybody has something to say about this performance. I actually love the performance. I, 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 I'm a fan of Cardi and Megan, and um, Cardi's moves are really stiff, like she can't dance, but I think when Megan popped out on the stage, I think she brought a little extra energy to the performance, but you guys, I didn't see anything wrong with the performance. I felt like it was entertaining, it was fun, it was sexy, spicy, you know? Um, like, Towards the end, yes, they, you know, ended up, you know, on top of each other and people were saying that they were scissoring. Guys, they were not scissoring, okay? People were making that a big deal. Megan did like a little twerk on Cardi and it looked, kind of looked like that, but she just did a little twerk and, and they locked legs and she popped up. It was a move, a dance move. But I, <laughs> people were making, making up, you know, making all over this move. They were like, oh, they're scissoring, gross, clutching the pearls. It's like, come on. Guys, relax, like it's not even that serious, it's entertainment. Um, did this performance make me feel empowered? I wouldn't say that. Um, for me, it was just entertainment. Like, I mean, I felt like Cardi and, and Megan did their thing. They were very entertaining at the Grammys. I felt like the Grammys needed an extra little oomph because, you know, it's <laughs> people think it's boring, like they're losing ratings. So I think they did this for a reason. Um, you know, but like, why are people shocked about this? We live in an over-sexualized country. So I don't understand what the shock is all about for this performance. Like we've seen this before, you know, um, this isn't new. And you know, people were saying, oh, what about kids watching this? Listen, kids today, especially in today's world where there's Instagram, TikTok, there's Snapchat, okay, kids are exposed to a lot of sexual activity on their own, in which they find on their own. So you can hide it from kids all you want, but you know, they're gonna, kids are gonna get into what they get into. You can't, you can't, you can't shelter kids. And then, you know, people look to, people look to celebrities to kind of be role models to their kids. Like, that needs to stop. You know, you shouldn't rely on a celebrity to be a role model for your kid like parents should be responsible for their own kids and it's your job to teach your kids right from wrong it's your your job to teach your kids about you know how to live in society and and, and what they should and should not do you know when i was growing up and i was a kid you know um some of my older cousins and you know my older siblings they were listening to little kim and so <laughs> you know i would sneak and listen to little kim and did that want to make me do what I, you know, Little Kim, you know, her lyrics probably were worse than Cardi B's, <laughs> you know, but did that like want to make me behave in a manner that whatever she was discussing on this music? No, I mean, I was listening to it. I was just like, you know, wow. But I, like I said, I, you know, I, I come from a good upbringing. So, you know, that, that kind of thing did not affect me. It was just music to me. And so I keep hearing people talk about was the performance empowering and all that. Like I said, I don't think it was, it didn't empower me. You know, maybe some women just felt like, oh my God, it wasn't supposed to be empowering. Some people may feel like it was a positive performance and it was empowering. Um, but what I will say is I want to refer to Megan Thee Stallion's interview with Miss Maxine Waters. And I really loved this interview between them because I feel like, I feel like everyone was focusing on the fact that she talked about WAP, right, in the in the uh, discussion. But I felt like I, I felt like Maxine Waters was, you know, it was kind of like the older generation meeting meeting the new gen generation, just kind of uplifting, um, 
Megan, not necessarily the WAP song, but she was just saying, you know, she's proud of Megan, how she's been able to just be herself and how she has a voice. You know, Megan has, you know, she's in school and college. I don't know if she's still in college, but like she's in college and she doesn't have to be. You know what I mean? Like she's actually doing positive things in her community for black women and, and so forth and so on. So I think, I think people missed the point on that. She wasn't necessarily talking about the WAP song, but she was talking about how Megan is doing her thing in the industry and you know how she's stepping up and having a voice. Guys, we live in America where women have a voice. Like, you know, it's just such a shame that women are looked down upon when they talk about certain things. It's like, you know, male rappers, you know, they, they put all sorts of nasty, lyric, uh, nasty lyrics in their music and, and they're praised for this. Oh, because they're men? Like, how, how? that's not fair, you know? And I think, I think we need to stop the hypocrisy of it all. But you guys, I asked my mom what she thought about the performance and it was just hilarious. Take a look at this. Mom! Hey! Hey, mom! What did you think about the Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, um, the performance that they did at the Grammys? Well, I don't watch the Grammys. You don't watch the Grammys? You didn't see it? Oh my god! Oh, no, no. Well, look it up. Look it up really quick and tell me what you think. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, I gotta pause my show because I have to watch my favorite show tonight. What's your favorite show? Married at First Sight. Oh my God, Married at I First Sight. Them, huh? That's oh right. God. You're the one who told me about that show. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cardi B and what is this at the, at the Grammys? The performance is that what it is? That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on a minute. <laughs> across a social media post and this this guy um, he asked you know be honest did the performance empower women or you know do you think it empowered you and some of the comments you know that people were saying oh this is disgusting it wasn't empowering like I said you guys it was entertainment at the end of the day and it's up to you to make your own decision on how you feel about the performance you know at the end of the day guys like I said we live in America where women have a voice and there's nothing you can do about that okay so you know, just take it for what it is. It's, it was entertaining at the end of the day. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Megan's performance inspired you or empowered you? Do you think that women should just, you know, not uh, be themselves and not have a voice? Tell me what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next video. Hi guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.